Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm going to get straight to the point here. Uh, I'm extremely excited, and I announced for the first day yesterday uh, what book number 25, the, which is the 25th project of book uh, of writing a manuscript and getting it published for me, is going to be about, and it's about building black generational wealth, but it's not just talking about nickels and dimes, uh, numbers and all of this. Uh, I'm really delving in. It's been years of research uh, that I've alluded to in other books, talked about, but I'm excited about it. Yesterday I announced something that I'm also excited about. Uh, because the undertaking of writing this book and making sure it's everything I want it to be and the, the gravity and the weight of this book. This isn't just a 200 page, hey man, this is what we need to do financially. Stop consumerism, blah, blah, blah. All the talking points we normally hear. There are people out there talking about investing and doing a bunch of things and they're doing a great job at it. There are people out there talking about group economics, they're doing a great job about it. There's so much more to building black wealth than that. And there's so many inhibiting factors that I wanted to tackle it completely and holistically to get an idea of what we're facing and what we really truly need to do. Because building black wealth, black generational wealth is different than other races and groups building generational wealth. They don't face the impediments and the natural mechanisms and machinations that are there. Yesterday I announced that I'm accepting sponsorships. This is not donations. These are sponsorships a little bit different. I'm asking you to sponsor this project. Uh, hopefully I will ha I've done the research I've culminated the research obviously I may come across some things as I'm writing that may pop up but the research is done and I did that all on my own and it's time consuming and it's costly uh, anybody that's done research understands what I'm saying anybody that understands the time it takes and the fact that your time actually matters when you are a provider for your family you understand what I'm saying as well well anyway uh, I want to make sure that this this manuscript is written in a timely way, edited, proofed, and everything that needs to be done, uh, and released before the end of the year. And it's a huge undertaking. This is not a short project by, by any stretch of the imagination. So what I decided to do is invite my community. And again, this is for my community, the people who really ride with me, people who know what I've done over the last 30 years, what I've done just on YouTube in the last 12, 2010, well, 11, uh, 11 years, what I've done uh, in so many other ways. Like I said, this is book number 25. I've brought it consistently, uh, putting in work, putting in the research. So I'm asking you guys to sponsor. Now, what a sponsor is going to do is they're going to sponsor an amount that they choose. Uh, that, that amount is going to fall under uh, what four categories, bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. $25 or less will be a bronze uh, category. A 26 to 50 silver, 51 to... 75 gold 76 and above platinum nobody's amount is going to be on that because i don't want to make anybody uh own. so if you decide to give a dollar you will be a part of this now everybody who sponsors will have their name in the book as a sponsor under the appropriate category now here's where it gets interesting everybody will be contacted after they make their sponsorship and ask what memorial do you want to put under your name or what statement of appreciation so you can do a memorial of somebody you really care about that's no longer with us or a statement of appreciation of people who were impactful in your lives or whatever you want to do it's on you but I'm going to contact you send you an email you respond to that email with what you want under your name and it's going to be in that book under your name uh, and that's what I'm asking I'm asking for support and I think that I want I want the, I want this to be something special. I want to be, you know, the best work that I've given, and I think it has the potential to do that. I've done some great works. I think Born in Captivity is for the is the black community is a beast. If you haven't read it, you probably need to get it. Uh, the Undoing of the African American Mind is another one. 
as far as personal development, critical mass still remains at the top, but there's so much other work that we've done. The Miseducation of Black Youth in America, uh, which I followed up with uh, academic, the, uh, uh, academic Apartheid, uh, which I just released earlier in the summer. Uh, so I've, I've put in the work. I've done thousands of articles, um, all accessible and available. I mean, there's so much out there. But I really and truly want to make this the best uh, so far. I'm not done, but 25 is kind of special. Um, you know, when I set out and I wrote the first book, uh, which was The Invisible Father, Reversing the Curse of a Fatherless Generation, some time ago, it actually started as an article. My high school journalism teacher um, asked me to write because she know the she knew the story behind my father and me not knowing my father and my father dying and she thought it would be therapeutic but when i wrote it she was so impressed by it she got it published nationally it was published in a uh in the school newspaper obviously but it was also published in the forward times which is a local newspaper here in houston uh where I, where i grew up at i've lived in a lot of different places but houston is my home and i'm back home for now probably not much longer uh talking to the wife she's ready to go but anyway um then it was published in teen magazine and so uh i always said that i was going to write a book because i didn't get it all out i didn't even tap the surface and got caught up in life doing some other things enjoying life and everything but I realized I was still grappling with some things as far as my father was concerned. And so when I hit my 30s, I said, okay, it's time. And I've been writing ever since. But when I wrote that first book, I never thought 25. That, that never, it was just, hey, I'm writing what I need to write about. But then I realized I have so much more to write about. And it started. And I haven't stopped since. And now we're at 25. And I'm asking you to be a part of that. I'm not telling you what to give. Everything's going to be appreciated. Like I said, if you give a dollar, nobody's going to know you gave a dollar because I'm not going to put the number because I'm not here to embarrass anybody or try to intimidate somebody to beat somebody else. This is about you believing in what I'm doing. And let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I'm not just talking about the X's and O's and all of that of wealth building in the sense of principles of wealth building. I'm talking about things that you got to understand why we're behind in the first place. The, tra uh, the, the, the black codes which followed 12 years of reconstruction. I don't have time to get into how those things impacted, but we're going to talk about reconstruction, the black codes, how wealth affects lear learning, wealth or the lack of wealth affects learning. Uh, we're going to talk about um, uh, Jim Crow segregation, redlining, and how redlining has played a major role, and how redlining actually didn't go away, how redlining is still being used now, how black um, valuations through appraisals uh, produce different numbers for comparable homes for blacks than it does for non-blacks, especially whites, and all of the other things we face, but then how we overcome it. I'm also going to uh, finish out with a number of different resources of what you have access to. We're going to talk about at least 300 businesses that you have that you can start online. We're going to talk about uh, access to fund. We're going to talk about the need to understand marketing. We're going to talk about it all. So not only are we talking about principles of wealth building, we're talking about creating your own sufficiency in revenue generation, passive income, and a bunch of other things. All this stuff is going to be in there, and it's going to be made available. Uh, this book is probably going to be priced right around when my books are priced, somewhere around 30 bucks, maybe a little bit more. I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm guessing somewhere around 400 pages. But it is going to be dynamite because it's not just going to be you got to do this stop spending here and start spending there invest in this particular thing no it's going to be about hey this is what we're facing don't get gaslighted into we're dumb we're stupid we don't we don't know we have been for those of us who have been working hard my road to building wealth isn't the same as the white man who may know less than me have less skills less talent my wealth building um path is different and it's i'm going to explain all of that and then i'm going to say but we still can do it and this is how we're going to do it 
I'm leaving a legacy. I want to really truly have blessed this place by the time I leave it. And I'm asking you to be a part of this particular phase. And I'm gonna do other things out of this. This isn't gonna just be a book. I'm gonna start networking and building out of this. This is the first part of the phase. And my mind is going 100 miles an hour about what can be done here. And I'm asking you to be a part of it. I'm asking you to sponsor it. Like I said, this isn't a donation. You know, number one is uh, you're going to get your name in the book. Uh, you're also going to get to memorialize or show appreciation to whoever that is. If you want to do it for your wife or your husband, your parents, uh, your mentor, uh, whoever it is that you want to show some love to, you'll be able to do it in this book under your name uh, in your particular category of giving. Again, that's the bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. And whatever you do is going to be appreciated. And I want as many names in the book as possible to show how many people are actually excited about change in the black community how many people still believe there can be change no matter how, how how much work has to be done so i am going to break off here but i had to come talk to you about that because i mentioned it during a video and uh i want to thank the the people who have done it so far so far we have three uh Varees, robin and uh i wrote the other name down philip for for the for you guys thank you so far um, I'm looking for so many more. I'm really, really, really appreciating. Now, don't get me wrong. The book is going to be done regardless. This isn't me holding a book hostage or saying, you know, I'm saying it would be good not to have to carry the whole burden and to be able to expedite it. And I need your help and the sponsorships will help. I'm going to be looking for sponsorships and other things. I need a sponsorship for the Black Voice podcast slash radio uh, show that we are re- uh, revamping and bringing back to the old format of actually being in the station together and doing it that way uh, and it won't just be me it'll be back to me and my co-host Michael Jordan and we're looking for sponsors for that as well so you can email me at CEO uh, at the Odyssey Project 21 top if you want to uh, talk about being a sponsor for the radio show but right now we're just talking about sponsorships for the book project Thanks so much for listening. Have an unbelievable day. I'm out.